think I was thinking that it was waiting to uh, waiting to catch so it could pull me up. But I think they must have had after that ride was stopped that they had just um, they were told to like hold you know hold these back because you can see how far ahead the got the car in front of me is. So it's the, currently the 25th of June. I'm here on a Saturday. We are today because um, uh, I'm going to the uh, San Francisco Pride celebration tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have another video for that. Uh, and it's going to be interesting. It's it's a Friday. It's a Saturday. It's a busy day. And it's in June. And um, of all things, Railblazer is down. You can't get your one premiere. Roller coaster, and the reason why people would come here, I mean, you know, the water park, which is over there, is fine and everything, flight deck is cool. But that's your big ride, and I, that's, that's not working. Also, the app that wasn't working because I couldn't check and see how uh, what the wait times were because uh, it showed flight deck with a zero minute wait time, and that was, that was definitely not a walk on. The water ride looks like a two, uh, over an hour wait at least. The water park is very busy today. It's, it's warmer, but it's not too bad. It's, it's 80 here with a nice uh, breeze. You know, most of the country that would be a nice day in, in June, but a little warm for us over here. Uh, Red right. Red, white, and blues ended last week, I believe. I need to see them out there. They have Mardi Gras that's coming up next month uh, already in June in, in uh, Orleans Square. Ugh, that nasty water. Like, like I said to you, that's also very funny. Is if you look, there's a little rowboat there that's probably left over from the ride, the ride before because you don't really need it. Or I miss it. I say this, and it's absolutely true. I miss the loggers, logger, the log ride, basically loggers run or whatever it was called, a lot. Because that was always a good way. You didn't want to get completely drenched by going on um, the rapids ride, what, what, whatever that's called. Yeah, I can't think straight. Um, that you know, that's a good option. But. Unfortunately, that's been gone a few years now. Yeah, that's more fun than Sidewinder Safari, I have to say, by the way. And that's not saying a whole lot, because that's probably my least favorite coaster in the park. But it's a little less make you want to throw up than the spinning that you get on Sidewinder Safari. But that's just me. I guess now I'm going to get in line and go back the other direction. Fortunately or unfortunately, while well, in line four to go back, the ride broke down. And they had to call maintenance, so everybody got out of line, and those peop poor people are stuck. I don't envy them, because they might be there a while. No, I guess I'm going to go find a place to get a beer. So I can, can confirm that... For whatever reason, and I'm not entirely sure, there's no 
reason why it's just this attraction's closed. They don't appear to be working on it or anything like that. Also, I noticed a lot of the concession stand are just closed. I might actually go over and ask the guy what's happening. Oh, okay, enjoy, right? Oh, 
Out of the carousel in the fountain. Everybody, Jason here. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video here at California's Great America on June 25th, 2022. Uh, 
I definitely, next weekend's 4th of July weekend. I am definitely not coming anywhere near a theme park on 4th of July weekend because that's just, that's insanity. I mean, this place is this busy today, is in really busy today. They're going to be insanely busy next weekend. Uh, so if you, you can avoid it, I don't recommend coming on, on major holidays like 4th of July to each his own. Uh, yeah. Wow. Usually, Great America has their act together. For whatever reason, they didn't. Like I said in the video, and I showed you the footage of, uh, Railblazer was closed. A bunch of concession stands were closed. I was sitting next to, I was sitting in the, um, by where the Rapids Ride is, where the, um, American Cafe is, and where they have shows at. I was just sitting there and enjoying my beer, and I was overhearing the people next to me commented that the food concessions were so disorganized, and I can attest to this, that literally there were, she just gave up and walked out because they, they just, the people were her words were the people weren't even, you know, it wasn't like they were, you know, they were overwhelmed and they were having, you know, not enough people to, um, take, take the money. Sorry, it's warm in here. I'm warm in here. They didn't, they didn't, it wasn't like, you know, they were overwhelmed because there were 20 people. No, they weren't even taking people's money. They just seemed to be standing around in a circle, uh, talking to each other. And I tried to get in line at the food court in the back of the park. Um, and that was a confusing mess where nobody seemed to be taking pee. And all I wanted was a beer. I wasn't even trying to get food over there. And they, um, <laughs> the line just wasn't moving. I gave up. So recommended place. If you're ever in the, if you're, if it's still there and you're in the park and it's busy and all you want is something to drink, uh, of an alcoholic ne nature, the, place in the closed where the where i showed you in the video from the uh sky ride the uh place that's in front of the, the uh it's now branded merrill's easy easy thing to do to just go up there and get get that get that done it's also why i recommend uh, yet more reason i recommend that you don't eat in the park not only is the food nasty but the the service is I, I, and I don't blame the workers. It's management. It's the people higher up in the food chain that are behind. Are behind this. This whatever is going on over here. Um, so yeah, I have a feeling just looking at at the, the closed sports place uh, slash Merrill's or whatever they're going to put it. They have theming there of tires and things that could be linked into whatever flat ride. That they're putting in because that's just across the square or the open area from where that ride's going in where they uh you know that it's gonna obviously open next year so I'm, i have a feeling that that is linked to whatever is there also on a tip if um i walked through the discounted half off store that's in the front of the park if you're uh because i haven't seen these before uh if you're looking for the last year of Halloween Haunt merchandise out here. They had last year's shirt in the half-off store sale. So if you want it there, and the only bummer is they only have smalls. So if you're getting it for your kid, or you're a size small, or you just want one to have if for your collection or whatever, they have them there, and half off their $12. So think it is what it is i still have mine at home so i didn't buy one but there is that and check out their shirt selection they have a whole bunch of new this season shirts um for shirts sweaters uh apparel in the stores shirts are 24 to 30 in the 24 to 30 range the sweatshirts uh, the hoodies and all that stuff that's 40 dollars and up so thanks for watching my videos. Hope you like it. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping to have a video at the Pride Celebration tomorrow. That might or might not be safe for all ages. Um, but, you know, I go to go out and support my community. So hit the like and subscribe button if you want. Thanks for watching and you guys take care.